First you've got this lovely rack of lamb and we're going to just remove the fat. And you can get this done by your butcher. You don't have to um, do it like I'm doing it, you know. You can make life easy for yourself. And we're going to take off the worst of what we call the sinew, which is the tough pieces of fat that when they cook are not going to render down. What you can do for me is, while you're there, is pick those parsley leaves for me. OK, so you just take off the leaf like that and just pick it into that bowl, OK? Can you manage right. that, Ruth? You're not going to burn the kitchen. And this little fat here, you're just going to score it, because then what that does is what we call render it down. It's basically going to help cook the fat down, OK? And you're going to take that last little bit of sinew off there, so that's going to toughen the meat. And just check the back that you haven't got any excess there. And that's all removed. And, and that's enough for two people, you know, lovely, lovely rack of lamb like that. OK, so we're just going to leave that ready there. OK, so what we're going to do, because um, meat has to rest, and what, when we talk about meat resting, what we want is it all the basically the um, muscles in the meat to just relax. And by relaxing it, it makes the meat tender, it's more juicy and moist. So we're going to cook our meat off first and then prepare our herb crust while it rests, OK? That's not enough parsley to be useless in the kitchen, young lady. So in the pan, we've got a little bit of olive oil and we're going to add some beautiful diced butter, OK? And then we're going to roast off our lamb, OK? So. I've just put rosemary, a touch of garlic and nice. some thyme and that's going to add some lovely flavourings to them. And we're going to get this beautiful foam in butter. OK, how are we going? Right, I'll give you a little hand there, OK? Otherwise we could be here all afternoon waiting for you to, honestly. You'll be fine. But this, it's like a lot, of, this is the preparation, but what you can do is like a lot of cooking, you can get this prepared ahead. So you can have it ready in your, in your sort of larder or you can have it in the freezer. And this herb crust is also lovely with fish as well. So you can see the butter, you see that's nice and foaming. We're going to let it go into a, a burnt stage. Just as it starts to go lovely brown, we're going to put in our meat, OK? And we're going to caramelise it all up, OK? Right, how are we doing with our parsley? Yep, that's perfect. OK, last little bit in there. Beautiful. So that's going to go in here. Have you used one of these machines before? No. First time for everything. Right, lift that into there. OK, in you go. Straight in, OK. And we're going to put a piece of this garlic as well. Broken in, that's it. And then you put the lid on. And there it goes. And it's just going to blend all those up. And you pass right. me the breadcrumbs there, please, my dear. <laughs> yeah, I'll put some rock salt. And you can see where it's starting to go brown. That's right. what you're looking for. So it's now starting to go burnt, was it? OK. And now we're going to add a few breadcrumbs. Right. Just like so. Back on there. OK, and then you're going to get this lovely herb crust. OK, you got any questions? following it. Don't run away. Come back here. <laughs>